Good morning world. Wow, this guy actually parked and slept on the side of the road last night. So he's from Toronto and he wants my, that big blue van. And I don't know how he thinks he's gonna winch it on there, but yeah. So he was supposed to be here at two yesterday. Then he said he was gonna be here at 6.30. I'm like, well, I'm not waiting that long. So then he said he was gonna stay at a hotel and then I didn't hear from him this morning. So I assumed he didn't come, but there's no service down in this valley. So <laughs> text me, he must've walked up the hill and text me at like 9, 10. He said, be here at nine. I'm like, I'm not coming if I don't, hear from you so yeah he texts me and he's like oh i slept here overnight so well let's see if we can load up this van see what we got <laughs> he's making her through i guess this wouldn't be the first semi that's made it down here that driveway can be pretty tricky though what an interesting day it's supposed to storm all day but uh that's yeah, funny i can see my reflection in the mirror it's supposed to storm all day but luckily the storm is just south of us by about 50, 50 kilometers or so. So it is spitting here, but it's not downpouring like it's supposed to. Thank God. So yeah, let's see if we can get this uh, get this van out of here, this freaking eyesore. I was hoping to start it again, blow it up for you guys, but obviously you can't get it going. And now the starter is pretty much screwed. So I'm just gonna take the cash that I get from this and uh, buy another diesel truck or box van or something. And uh, will just blow it up right away or jump it i haven't decided i love jumping stuff but i want to make a diesel run away <laughs> that would be fun look at that freaking eyesore oh my god at least we cleaned up uh, four or five cars though yeah she's been sitting here since the fall since we jumped it so it's time to go time to go to a better place i think we gotta move the caddy here and then he's got a winch on the truck we'll drag the uh, back end around and hopefully get her on the semi <laughs> Thank God the storm is missing us because this thing would just be buried today. I tried to convince him to let me uh, let me trade him for that thing, but he said it's it's still new, newish. They're not scrapping it yet. He just picked it up for a customer or something. I figured, yeah, a decent little trade, maybe a hundred bucks, uh, whatever. I love Ford Escapes. They jump so well because they're all-wheel drive. But maybe one day we'll jump the Platinum. Never know. You never know. You need to win the lottery first or get millions of more views. All right, let's see. Yeah. Let's see if we can load this thing up. It is, the box has fallen off the frame on the one side, as you can see. So I told him to bring every strap he owned. So she's on a bit of a lean. She's still holding on this side, but yeah, good luck. See if she fits. I don't know how it's gonna go on there, but we're gonna make it happen. Definitely so glad it's not raining right now. I mean, it would be nice to get some rain, but it's nice to see everything green again. Gotta get the uh, a bush hog start cutting soon. We got our welded back together. We just gotta balance it. Oh, platinum looks good. Need a tire sponsor so we can just start roasting tires off that thing. And we got the semi versus the van. I imagine that chain should hold up. I mean, we hooked hooked her up with the Yankum rope last time. She towed her just just fine. She's got the, the escape up there now, still running. Oh yeah, no problem. And somehow it's still shifted neutral too. Wonder if I can turn the wheel. <laughs> The old taxi service. Big hauling van. Who would have thought? I never wanted to sing in the first place, but it ended up being awesome. So whenever you have an opportunity, always take it. So it'll probably turn out good. <laughs> Can't believe how far this thing flew. If you guys haven't seen the video, you gotta check it out. It's a Detroit diesel, I think I call it runaway or jump. Pretty amazing. Just go to my homepage and you'll see it under car jumps. All right, we're backed up, we're dragged over, and I just have the best idea. So I have a, I think it's an 18,000 pound Yankum rope. And I was telling this guy about my YouTube channel, and I think I should try and pull this truck. Pull this whole semi with the van unloaded with my EcoBoost. What do you guys think? Let's give her a whirl. I'll ask him. 
I would really like to jump this escape too. I bet the back end's rotten. All four escapes, the back ends are just rot out right away. All right, I canceled my appointment. I have an idea. Once we get this loaded, we should try and pull this truck with my truck. Uh, your truck? Yeah. You want, you want. <laughs> I think we should give it a whirl. You want to try to put my truck with your truck? Your truck with everything with my truck. You're going to put my truck? Yeah. <laughs> I think we should try it. See okay. if we can break my truck. <laughs> no, uh, it's fine. It's got warranty. It's good for it. All right, let's load this thing up and then we'll see. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. Especially on dirt, too. Oh, let's give her a whirl. Freak, this thing's ugly and heavy. Now the rain's starting now. Hopefully we can get this thing up and loaded and pull her with my truck. I think we're caught. He's stuck? Side of the body needs to go up in the air a little bit. This side is completely. Oh, you're wedged. Yeah, this side is dropped down, and right now it's just gonna buckle it more. Let's see. I don't know if I can go a little bit more. Do you have a piece of wood? Um, we can put on there, and hopefully it'll slide up. Yeah, I have, I have wood. Uh, <laughs> what a mess! Oh, tires flat on the front. Luckily, all the other tires are good. Got a little death spike right there. But yeah, she is caught up. So we're gonna let the winch out. He's gonna pull forward a few feet. Then we're gonna grab some wood and just put it on it so it's not catching that. But yeah, she's starting to rain now. So hopefully it doesn't rain too heavy because she still needs to get out of here. It's good. We're getting there slowly but surely. We can get enough wood, she's caught again. But we're gonna raise the tail up. <laughs> That's quite a steep ramp now. Winter up. Oh, we're off the ground now. Oh, look at that lean. That's going to look sketchy going down the highway. All right, he's just going to throw a quick strap on it. And we're going to bring her over here and try and tow it. She's getting wet quick, so I want to do it before it's super muddy. <laughs> Uh, and so he can get out of here too. I don't want to have to go get the tractor. So I'm loading some wood. She is towing time. He doesn't have any hooks in the front, unfortunately. So he's going to come up here and then I'm going to tow him backwards. Still counts, still counts. But uh, yeah, I wish he had a hook on the front, but if it goes well, we'll do it again with a bigger truck with more weight. I think this is about 60,000 pounds, he told me. Truck trailer the Ford Escape and the Van Dura van on the back. So let's uh, see what we can do. All right, she's somewhat strapped on. He's got the chains on. He's got to throw some straps over the top after. But he's just gonna get in a little better position here. I'm gonna hook up to the back and see how far I can go. Oh, look, the dirt's dry again. So much weight just pushed out the moisture. <laughs> look at that, imagine rolling up behind that thing. Uh, all right, let's tow away. All right, she's in four by four. The diff is locked. I'm out of fuel. We got the Yankum rope hooked up. <laughs> I just strapped her to those chains. She'll be fine. So if you guys haven't seen a Yankum rope, this is a smaller one. I think it's 18,000 pounds, 18 or 19. The label's pretty crushed now, but yeah, if you guys ever need a good stretch rope, I have a link below with a discount code, so. <laughs> I know this thing's 65,000 pounds or 60,000 pounds and I got an 18,000 pound rope so yeah, let's see if she snaps off <laughs> either way she's gonna be good see how good the old eco boost works all right let's do her do her to her tension up the rope first okay yes yeah Boost. 
All right, I'm losing track. Oh, don't, don't keep going, keep going, keep going. You... All right. She did it. <laughs> the EcoBoost pulled it. No problem whatsoever. <laughs> Uh, I was surprised. So what do you say, about 60,000 pounds with everything? Yeah. EcoBoost, no problem. I think next we should try 100,000 pounds. <laughs> Let's put more cars on. Uh, anyways, thank you for coming to get the van. It was a bit of an eyesore, but it needed to go. So thank you guys and let's carry this day on. <laughs> and just like that, she's gone. I was almost growing attached to this thing. <laughs> I still can't believe how well it jumped. If you guys haven't seen the video, it hit the jump and just nicked the end of that jump and ended up over there. Then I jumped it again and it smashed that. So it was definitely worth it. I can't even remember what I paid for, like 250 bucks or something. Super cheap. I actually had it on my 18 foot trailer towing it with my last F-150. And that was sketchy because this thing is definitely way heavier and just pushed the truck around. But she was definitely worth it. And I just scrapped it for almost triple. So later, Van Duravan. Thank you for everything. Sorry I couldn't blow you up, but you can't have it all. So, all right, let's go uh, wait for Brad and uh, we'll find some mud. Let's do this. Lock it up for the day. She is pouring rain. Definitely wouldn't be able to pull that semi out now, that's for sure. There, put my lock down here. Do -do -do. Boom. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. It was kind of an unplanned video today. I uh, definitely wasn't my goal to be pulling a semi. I mean, it is my goal, but I wasn't planning on doing it today. But I'm glad we did. It was cool that my truck pulled it, especially with the Escape, which isn't very heavy and the more heavy Vandura GMC. So thank God Fords are awesome and Chevy and Dodge sucks. <laughs> but the EcoBoost, my little V6. Actually, I do love the EcoBoost. I, I used to do V6s all the time because I didn't trust the EcoBoost when they kind of first came out because there was some issues. And now I would probably never buy a V8 again because this thing is better on fuel. It tows way better. And you got the whistle of two diesels. So we're good to go. So thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic day. We got big things in the loop for tomorrow, the next day, whenever I release the video. And uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun. Thank you. And we'll see you later. <laughs>